My friends, welcome to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. This marks the beginning of the early spring 2023 road trip. Luke and I have already been on the road for a few hours and when we stop for lunch, we will share our itinerary with you all. Right now we are in Tennessee and we are heading to a beautiful camp spot tonight and I cannot wait to share it with you. With this adventure everyone, we are going to break this up into at least three pieces. The road trip out to the west, a backpacking adventure, and then who knows what's going to happen after that. We may continue actually going even further west, head into California and then back. But let's don't get ahead of ourselves. There's a, there's a lot that could take place between now and then, so we'll see what happens. But folks, thank you so much for joining us for this trip. Let the adventure begin. As you all can see, we have stopped for lunch here in Tennessee. It is a beautiful day outside. It's about 65 degrees. It's super windy. Right now, we are heading towards New Mexico. And then from there, we're going to Utah. Then we're gonna venture off who knows where. We will see. With this trip, you're gonna see some familiar locations plus some new ones. I can't wait to see what we get into and the new places and the new states that we go visit. As I mentioned before, we're going to do a, you know, like the road trip overland part. Then it's a backpacking adventure. I cannot wait for this trip. Everyone, this is going to be so much fun, so cool. Out in the desert, middle of nowhere, we have some cool plans. Definitely, and I think we've timed it right as far as the temperatures and the weather, everything's looking good. Not too cold, not too hot, somewhere right in the middle. A few weeks ago, out in the desert where we're going, it was like 95 degrees. When we get there, it's gonna be like 55. I call that perfect definitely perfect perfect so everyone let's eat we'll get back on the road we're heading to a place called silver point which is like this lake area it looks really pretty at least online so that's where we're headed first we'll be camping up the lake tonight and then hitting the road early tomorrow for a very long day of driving i'm glad today's not been super long <laughs> <laughs> we have to tiptoe into this you know it's been a while since we've done a road trip as a reminder we are in our Ford Transit van, which Susie calls Packy. Right here is our mascot, <laughs> and this is an alpaca, so our van is called Packy. Or at least that's what I call it. Yeah. So here's our mascot for the road. Yep, so this will be our home on wheels for at least two weeks, possibly even three. Yeah. 
My friends, I want to welcome you all to Edgar Evans State Park in Silver Point, Tennessee. This is a campground that Susie found online. It was highly reviewed, and I tell you what, everyone, this place is nice. It's pretty interesting. You drive down to the campground, you follow this road, and there's campsites along the water. Then when you get to your spot, you drive out on this platform overlooking the water. So as you can see, this is rather nice. And all in all, the price wasn't bad, around 30 bucks. Typically, we don't get campsites like this. Usually, we don't pay. But in this case, it was right along the interstate, and this was a good place to stop. So this is our home for the night. We got about five hours of driving done. And here in a bit, it'll be time for dinner. For now, though, I think it's time for coffee. Hi, Susie. Hi, you caught me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stretching, resting. <laughs> Would you like some coffee? Yes. Me too. It feels almost chilly here as the humidity is super low and I'm thinking about grabbing my jacket. It looks like there is a trail down to the lake that we might check out, but first coffee. Here you go, kitty. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Perfection. Let's see how it is. Mine is not going to be as good as Susie's. I mixed her old coffee with my old coffee, plus some of this, so I don't know. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. It's pretty good, folks. I can't complain. Also, everyone, I can't complain about the weather. It is beautiful. I mean, it's right at 70 degrees but it's really windy and the humidity is super low, so it feels good, like really, really good. Also, because it's so windy, we have no mosquitoes, which is nice. I bet in the summertime though, I bet this place is mosquito central for sure. I think I'm going to do like Susie did and put a jacket on. I tell you what, Susie did a fantastic job of finding this location. This is really nice. If you like to fish and you're doing some traveling, you may want to check this place out. Cheers, Susie. Cheers. Cheers, my friends. Quickly, the sun is going down. Right now it's about 6 o'clock, gets dark around 7.30. But I tell you what, it is peaceful and quiet here. It's very quiet. We did some hiking around on the road, and we also quickly discovered that we can't head down the side of this hill <clears> because <throat> the entire place is covered with poison ike. <laughs> <coughs> I'm glad you messed up yeah. because I got coffee going down the wrong pipe. <coughs> 
I'll it, learn how to swallow eventually. <laughs> <laughs> you learn how to talk. Okay. I'll learn how to swallow. <laughs> we quickly discovered that the entire place is covered with poison oak and poison ivy. So there are some trails, but we don't really have a lot of time to hit those before the sun goes down. So I think we're just going to chill here. Mm -hmm. We have a good view, at least. Yeah. When Susie says this place is covered, like, not kidding. It's not just like growing on trees, it's hanging from the trees. It's all over the ground. I mean, I've never had it myself. I, I don't have any issue with it, but have you ever had it? No, yeah. I've never had it. I don't have an issue with it, but I'm certainly not going to head <laughs> off through a field of it with yeah. flip flops. So good time to kick back. Mm -hmm. I've been relaxing some and you know, I'm not really tired from all the driving, but speaking about driving, Everyone wants to know why I do most of the driving, if not all. And that is because Luke is busy filming and I don't like filming. I don't really like cameras. Mm -hmm. We all have our superpowers and I think my superpower is <laughs> driving and his is working the camera, so. If the whole YouTube thing doesn't work out, we're going to become like a, a team, what do you call it? Uh, like a truck driver team yeah. where, you know, he can navigate and I can drive the truck. So that's like our backup plan. Yeah. If like, if we get to the point in our life where like nothing else is working and, and we need stuff to do and we need adventure, you know, what's, yeah. what's greater than that? Driving a <laughs> truck across the country. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, I think it would be too. But yeah. we joke about that all the time, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, I, I appreciate that. Like when we get somewhere, I can rest and like he kicks it I in. I go to work. And he gets our coffee and all that ready, but... You know, that's the thing about us. We make a great team. Yeah. We both have our strengths and our mm -hmm. weaknesses. And so we just play off of the best of those. It's true. I like to drive, but I like to film more. I have to be honest. This sounds awful. I like to look. And so if I was driving, I would still be looking. So I could be honest about it. Yeah. And I think we can all agree that you produce a great video at oh, the well, end of it. You're I very... Try. He's very good behind the camera, yeah. and I'm better behind the wheel, so. <laughs> <laughs> now, for this trip, everyone, initially we were going to go to Hawaii, and we were going to hike the volcano out there, Mauna Kea, and unfortunately, that didn't work out because I injured my foot. Hopefully you all can see that. So I can't exactly remember what they call this. Anyways, basically it's like micro tears and a tendon or something down there. Anyway, so like I'm injured, I really can't hike that well. So the hope is, is that while we're driving across the country, it kind of heals up some so we can do this backpacking trip. I'm going to do it no matter what, but the hiking trip that we have planned is not going to be as strenuous as hiking to the top of that volcano, so. We also heard from a lot of viewers in regards to visiting Hawaii and there's still snow on the mountain and there has been some political protest at the base of Mauna Kea and it's to do with the building of a telescope and apparently that does not affect hiking it and you can still hike and visit it but it seems like there's a lot going on there and yeah. so we felt like it was a better time to head to the desert and then we can always go to Hawaii another time. Yeah. Plus, like, we want to make sure that their voices are heard. So it seems kind of wrong for us to go hiking up this mountain while they're doing protesting against what's taking place there. So, like, we respect them enough to be like, hey, you have your time. We'll come back later. Very true. I think that Mauna Kea is very sacred to mm -hmm. the native Hawaiian people and that there's definitely some conflict going on with all the astronomy and stuff that takes place on top of that mountain. So we will see what happens in the future with that. It's possible that public access could end. You yeah. may not be able to go there anymore. They have to work all that out. And there's still a current lease with like the University of Hawaii right now. So we will see what the future holds. But um, we have been to Hawaii. Mm -hmm. We had a great experience there years and years ago. And we definitely want to return. Yeah. But for now, we're going to head west heal his foot hopefully and we'll just have a different type of adventure yeah i've been dealing with this for about a month so far and <clears throat> this is pretty painful i mean it's one of those things where like i could go hiking it doesn't feel good but as soon as i'm done oh man like it just hurts so freaking bad so hopefully this will take care of it or at least <laughs> allow us to do this hike so right yeah 
But right now I got it taped up. I got this brace thing. It's helping, so cross your fingers. And the best way to see the country is to get into your car and go. Yeah. That is the absolute best way to see what America is about. And that's one thing I've learned doing trips with mm -hmm. you. When you get on an airplane and fly somewhere and go do your thing and then fly home, you don't see the whole big picture. You don't see all the little towns and... Mm -hmm you know, how the economy is doing and what it's like out there. Right. So I really enjoy this, you know, traveling by our van and... Oh yeah. You see like the good and the bad when you're on the road. You really are a fantastic driver. And you really are fantastic behind the camera. I'm also a navigator, folks. Oh yeah. You know, like take this right, this left. <laughs> <laughs> tough, real tough. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over here. Yeah. That smells incredible. It may look a little sloppy on camera as it's hard to make food look good, but we <laughs> made some campfire nachos over the stove. So basically a one pot meal, you cook your meat and then you throw everything else in and make it all gooey and melted. And <laughs> It smells so good guys. <laughs> oh man. Thank you, Susie. Mm -hmm. We've really had a nice evening. It's starting to get late. Sun's going down now. It'll be dark in about 15 minutes or so. But I'm really impressed with this place. It is super quiet. I mean, really peaceful. They have security that goes around checking everything out. I have no idea where in Tennessee exactly we are. Outside of Knoxville. Knoxville? I think we are outside of um, Nashville. Nashville. It's closer to Nashville than Knoxville. So. <laughs> I'm the navigator. <laughs> <laughs> We're in trouble. <laughs> Eh, whatever. We'll cut that out. That'll be okay. Mm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. You can't really mess up nachos. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, so check this out, everybody. A, uh, well, I guess it was about a month ago, right? Our son comes to town, and he decides that he's going to treat us to dinner, and he's going to have it delivered. So, like, we're big fans of, like, nachos, so we're like, okay, let's order some nachos. <laughs> So, like, the meal arrives, the person brings it to the house, leaves it on the porch, and I go outside and I grab what's, like, it looks like a pizza, right? It's in a pizza box. I pick it up, and my hand goes through the bottom of that box because, like, there's no bottom there. <laughs> so, like, that person <laughs> had those nachos on their seat, and, like, <laughs> the whole box disintegrated. I, I bet they were ticked. <laughs> it, was, it was something else. That is how you can mess up. <laughs> That's how you can mess up. The nachos were still delicious. They were. Mm-hmm. That was really good. Mm-hmm. The flavor that those chips get from being in a skillet, mm -hmm. that is like grade 10. And that's good, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Let's say goodbye to the camera. You don't need to hear this, so. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
We'll bring you guys back later. Here you go, kitty. Oh, thank you. Coffee time. Thank you so much. How'd you sleep last night? Oh, I slept really good. It's beautiful here and it feels so good. Temperatures were great last night. Couldn't ask for anything better. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. As far as the time goes, it's about 7.30. Gorgeous day. Blue sky, slight breeze. It's warming up nicely. We slept really good last night turned in about 10 o'clock. I guess that'd be 11 o'clock Eastern time. But um, yeah, slept good. Nice chilly night, felt great. Our plan this morning is to kill some time, just hang out here at the camp. We're about 50 miles outside of Nashville, so we wanna make sure that we get well past rush hour. We'd rather drive later into this evening than have to deal with that mess. Basically, it's gonna be a full day of driving with a break here and there, and tonight we will be stopping at a rest area. We're trying to make it as far as we can today. It's gonna to be a push day, but I know we can do it, and Hopefully, with just in two more days, we will arrive in New Mexico. As you all can see, we're on the road. Our destination is Oklahoma.
friends, it is time for an update. It's about 12.30, 80 degrees outside. We've made our way through Nashville, which was nice and easy. Waiting for rush hour to pass was a smart move. So far, the travels have been good today. Very quiet. The roads are busy, but it's not too bad. There's not much to report, really. We're just heading through the green tunnel. That's about it. Here in a bit, we'll stop for lunch. We'll make some coffee, stretch our legs. Susie, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good, but I was just telling Luke that uh, these road trips are hard when you're older. I was making a joke about the last time we traveled across the country, I was in my 30s and it was so easy. Now I'm in my 40s and I have to have a pillow for my back and all that funny stuff, but I'm just joking around. I'm actually doing really well. The driving today has been really smooth for the most part, no complaints. I feel the sun coming in, it is hot. It looks like it's about 81 degrees where we are. And we still are in Tennessee, but we're making our way out of it. Getting older is so much fun. You know what I mean? Like Susie's back is hurting, my foot's jacked up. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is, I don't know. We can laugh about it. We have to do the best that we can, take care of ourselves. And you don't stop living, it doesn't matter still get out there and do that because fear will keep you at home and that will age you so you're right about that yeah fear keeps you at home it doesn't matter get out there and live it doesn't matter how old you are it's just a number and it doesn't matter what your ailment is either you just gotta figure out how to work with it work around it make it through it that's life We have made it into Arkansas and we have stopped for lunch. Today we are having some salad and chicken salad with a few chips on the side. It's day two on the road and everything's really going smoothly. There's not a lot to say. I think we're gonna eat, stretch our legs, and then hit the road. We still have several more hours to go before we get to our stopping point for the night. In Oklahoma. Since Susie and I have gone across the country so many times, we've been to this rest area before. Now this is kind of interesting and kind of stupid. So we're about to have a salad with chicken in it and also some chicken salad. The last time that we were here, I remember very distinctly that there was chicken all over the place, all over the road. And so like when Susie and I, we pulled in, we got out, we went walking. There's a drumstick on the ground over there. <laughs> so I'm not sure what's going on. This is like the, the center for chicken action, apparently. <laughs> As you all can tell, it's been a slow day. I mean, there's just <laughs> nothing going on out here. There's really nothing to see. But uh, we've definitely been having fun. We've been listening to an audiobook as we cruise across the country. And this one's by Sam Neill, the actor. I think it's always interesting to hear about like people's stories and also like their opinions of themselves. I find that interesting. At times you have people who are very humble and then you also have people who are very full of themselves. And I, I don't know, I just find that interesting. I really have nothing else to add to your story except that I believe that Arkansas is the home of Tyson Chicken. So maybe that explains all the chicken at this rest area. Just in case you don't know, Tyson Chicken is one of the largest chicken producers in the United States. So I guess that explains it. I don't know. There's so much chicken they just like leave it on the ground. <laughs> or someone throws it all over the ground. I don't know.
Good morning, everyone. We welcome you all from Oklahoma. Last night was very interesting. We pulled in, I don't know, it was around 8 o'clock, something like that, and it was rather warm. It was a bit <laughs> warm, so we had to get our fans out, and once we settled in for the night, it was a comfortable night's rest. Yeah, I slept good. Yeah, I did too. I slept very good. It's really funny. It's like, Susie's just messed up, everyone. <laughs> So it's like most of the time when we go to bed, like she's just like this nuclear radiator is like super, super hot. We get here. I'm like about to go to meltdown and she's like, oh, this feels so good. I don't think she needed a fan. She was just like cool and comfortable. I actually touched her and she was like ice cold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were tired, so we really didn't feel like filming, but uh, just had an easy dinner. We made wraps, uh, ate some more chicken salad. We uh, had a moment of weakness. We decided to go over to the vending machine to see what we could find. And they had like a Danish, like a uh, cheese cake roll thing. It looked amazing. It was not that great. No, that was not good. We have another camping spot for the night. It is one of those just, we're camping in a park in a little town. We've actually been there before. It's a great little stopping area. And then, the day after that, we will finally start to make it to where we want to be and mm -hmm. start the camping adventure. As we go across the country here, so it's like we left home, it was nice and cool, we've, we've hit this like hot patch, hot pocket. Then it's going to begin getting cold. I think it's our second night in New Mexico. It's supposed to be like 20 degrees at nighttime. That's going to be interesting. So we just have to think about last night when we're there just channel those like i'm <laughs> hot it was so warm because 20 degrees is cold yeah hopefully she could turn on her reactor i'll see if i can help you know what i mean but uh <laughs> all right everyone let's hit the road we just made coffee let's bounce <laughs> down the road here folks in Oklahoma let's go over some interesting stats about the state so first off Brad Pitt comes from Oklahoma Oklahoma is the first state to come up with pecan pie that's really important there are 39 different Native American tribes in Oklahoma 24% of the state is covered in forest and the hottest temperature ever recorded here was 120 degrees back in the 30s here are some strange laws everyone for Oklahoma in this state it is against the law to share a hamburger it is against the law to use foul language it's also against the law to wear boots in bed <laughs> Also, it's against the law to read comic books while driving a vehicle, and you cannot leave tissues in the back seat of your vehicle.
friends, we have made it to Texas. We decided to pull over at a rest area. It is lunchtime. Initially, we were going to hop out of the vehicle here and go sit at one of the picnic tables, but there's two problems. One, it's 95 degrees, and two, it's really, really windy. This is something that we do experience when we drive across the middle of the country. We have a lot of high winds in this area, and that's one reason why we wanted a low roof van, because we're not having any issues, but as we pass other vans on the road, they are swerving, they're having a really hard time keeping in their lane, and it's because of these high winds crossing the highways, and anything high is really being affected by that. We saw some guy driving like a sprinter, he was white knuckle, man. <laughs> when he was like this, yeah, I feel for him. Yeah, it's tough. As you know, in any vehicle, you can feel the wind. Mm -hmm. When you're driving in a really windy area, you can feel that. So the higher your vehicle is, it does affect you. So for now, we're going to have lunch inside of the van and keep on trucking to New Mexico. Yeah, everything's been going smoothly today. No complaints. The only thing is, it's like, man, it's really warm. <laughs> now, it's going to end tonight. I think starting tomorrow, a cool down is coming. We timed our trip really perfectly as there's like a cold front and there's like a warm front and they're meeting. And so there's all this crazy weather that will be happening across the country. And we're kind of just going to miss it all. Mm -hmm. So where we're headed, it's going to be cooler. We're getting out of the heat. I think it's going to work out fine, but it's definitely interesting to see what's happening because back home in North Carolina, it's supposed to get really cold. Oh yeah. So all this crazy weather is happening, but. <laughs> it's kind of funny. All I wanted in the winter was snow. We haven't gotten any. We leave on this trip and it's going to snow for two days at home. Yeah, don't get excited. It's probably <laughs> only gonna be just a little bit because it's turning cold. It is snow and then melt. Yeah, that's how it goes. For lunch, we have some chicken salad and some chips. Nice and simple. I think later on tonight we will cook. We will cook when we get to the park. We'll make a good dinner. Mm -hmm. We're staying at a park on Route 66 tonight. It's pretty nice. Or it was at least two years ago. It will be interesting to see if anything's changed. Yeah. It's kind of funny. It's like we have all of these memories from doing like a trip across the country two years ago. And so as we're going across the country, we're talking about like, oh, you remember like we couldn't find a place to camp. So we just like stayed at a gas station parking lot in the middle of nowhere. It was kind of seedy. And like what was kind of funny about that was like we're in the back of the truck, which is a little bit awkward. And um, we decided that we're going to have biscuits and gravy for dinner. And I totally wasn't paying attention. And I just, I filled that bag full of water. It comes time to eat it and it was just like. We didn't eat. I it think was we soup. Were, <laughs> we were drinking that meal. So yeah. it's so much fun to revisit some of these places. So we're doing like a similar trip that we've done before, but at the same time, it's totally different. Mm -hmm. And it is fun to be like, oh, do you remember that? And we were there and right. there's a gas station where we slept and we maybe felt slightly uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Good times, folks. Yeah. Good times. Susie, let's eat. All right, let's eat. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drop it on the ground. <laughs> mm hmm.
I'm sad You're dropping clues There's no need to rush So let's just take our time Dropping everything Cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Talking to the night until the morning Building chemistry I don't think I ever wanna go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think We were meant to be Oh, we were meant to be Oh, we were meant to be made it to New Mexico and we are stopped for the night. We are camping in a city park. It's a very small little city and we just walked over to a gas station convenience store type of place and we ordered our dinner. So we're having some potato wedges and burgers tonight. Oh yeah. As far as the temperature goes, it's about 82 degrees. It's pretty warm outside, but luckily it's a dry heat. And at the same time, it's really, really windy. I have to say folks that those potato wedges look amazing. I cannot wait to try not only them, but also the burgers. You know how it goes sometimes with like gas station food, convenience food. Oh man, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be <laughs> awful and good, you know what I mean? And that's kind of like the best part for like a road trip. It's like all about like what can you go find to eat? Yeah, we've been having fun with this trip and getting some food from various places. We did consider cooking tonight, but once we opened up the van doors, it's so windy here that tons of like debris and grass and dirt just blew in and I was like this is not gonna work we can't cook we can't have the doors open so let's forget about it let's scout our food so we just hitched it across the road and I'm excited about it, it smells good and I don't have to cook as you all could see the Sun is going down it's gonna be beautiful tonight it's gonna be rather cold right now it's about 80 degrees but I think by morning it's supposed to be about 40 tomorrow night about 20 degrees. That definitely is going to be interesting. So folks, we're gonna eat. We'll spare you that part. We'll bring you all back in just a bit. Well, everybody, after maybe two bites, I decided to stop eating my burger. Susie would not eat hers. They looked pretty bad. I mean, even for a gas station cheeseburger, <laughs> they were awful. Mine looked anemic. You know, it's like, uh, it tasted like a microwavable cheeseburger, but like even worse. That's okay, here in a little bit, I think Susie and I will make a bowl of cereal. We'll make it a real easy night. You may not know this, but I am a cereal hound. I absolutely love it. Put some peanut butter in it. Like it goes past being like a meal. It's like, <laughs> you put peanut butter in it and it becomes like 2000 calories, you know what I mean? It does. The sun's going down, still fairly warm, luckily we have our fans going and that makes all the difference in the world. You can basically stay anywhere you want to as long as you have some airflow. It doesn't matter how hot it is as long as you have moving air. So yeah, it's a nice comfortable night. The area is really nice, it feels safe. There's quite a few travelers who have pulled in. This little park is in San John, New Mexico, and it is located right next to Old Route 66. So it's a pretty neat place where you can walk over and see some of the older buildings. Everything's completely fallen down, it's in disarray, but it is a very nice, quiet little area, and there is absolutely nothing else here. No restaurants, nothing like that. It's just a gas station, a park, and a lot of old buildings. Good morning, everyone. Susie's in the van getting ready, and I figured I would hop out and go walk around a little bit with you all. I have to say, we slept great. The temps went right into the 30s. We had plans to get up really early, but that did not 
pan out. We didn't feel like firing up the heater or the van, so we just slept in, let the sun come up. It was actually pretty nice. Where we stayed at, nice and quiet, other than the road noise. For a free place to camp, I cannot complain. We are ready to hit the road this morning. We are going to go further into New Mexico. And all we have to do is go through Albuquerque first. We were recently contacted by a viewer who said he was driving through Albuquerque and hit a gigantic pothole and he was stuck there for two days getting the repair done. Let's hope that doesn't happen to us. By the way, everyone, the two bites that I had out of that cheeseburger was a mistake. I didn't get sick or anything like that, but like in the middle of the night, I woke up and I was feeling a little rough. So uh, yeah, luckily everything panned out. I'm good, ready to rock and roll, but that was close to being a mistake. I think if I ate any more of that thing, I'd probably be like, I don't know, throwing up or sitting on the toilet. I live on the edge. That's what I do. The plan for today is we are going to stop and get gas, fuel up the van, and then we are driving all the way to Angel Peak Campground. It is a free camping spot located on BLM land, and we were there about two years ago, but it was for a very short amount of time, and so we're looking forward to arriving there early afternoon, getting to spend some time there. It's a really neat place. There are actually like some little mini badlands around, and the environment is really cool. That is the plan for the day, folks. Let's rock and roll. Quarter mile, merge onto I-40 West. Keep thinking that I could have done something, but now I'm left with an empty heart. No making amends, no waking up beside you and holding you till we forget it all. I have to admit everyone, I've always wanted to do some train hopping. I think that looks like a ton of fun. It would be one heck of an adventure, that's for sure. Now of course, it is dangerous. Some years back, a YouTuber was killed doing it. If I understand the story correctly, he was getting off of the train and he got hung up on something and he was drugged to his death. I guess it goes along with the saying, play dumb games, win dumb prizes. It got me stone cold As an update everyone, we are now outside of Albuquerque, New Mexico. All in all, everything's gone smoothly as far as the traveling goes. We did see some massive potholes, but good news my friend, they are repairing those probably thanks to your little incident. So uh, thank you so much for the warning. We do appreciate it and you know who you are.
we were leaving Albuquerque today, we ran into a special event on the highway. There were a lot of signs and flags and there were two patrol cars leading traffic and keeping us all at about 40 miles per hour on a highway where you should go 70. So we were puzzled, we had no idea what this special event was and then we realized that they were filming a movie on the highway and so we saw a bunch of older classic cars and we saw the cameras and everything off to the side of the road so they were waiting for their perfect shot maybe they were waiting for the sun to set but it was a cool experience to pass it today Heart overhead and i guess i love to watch the way you make me into a mess As it stands now, we have about 30 miles to go before we get to our destination. The temperature has been dropping the entire time. Right now, it is 48 degrees. Friends, cheers, Susie, cheers. We have made it to Angel Landing here in New Mexico. And it is beautiful, beautiful. There is one problem though, it's windy. Like sustained winds around 30 miles an hour, gusts up to 50. <laughs> it's a slight problem. <laughs> Everybody that is here, if they have a car, they're inside of it hiding because the winds are pretty rough. Now with the sun out, it's warm, even though the temps are technically chilly, you wouldn't really know that if you're standing in the sun. It's the wind that gets you. You can't hear anything and it's very cold with that wind. So it's been about two years since we have been here and we are in a different camping spot. We realized when we were traveling in on the road that the spot that we did camp at is almost impossible to get to. I don't know if it's over the years so many people have taken that spot, but the road has been destroyed for that camp spot. Which is unfortunate. Now, as far as this place goes, it's somewhat busy. We were lucky to find this spot here, which is really, really nice. <laughs> Susie was talking about people hiding in their cars. There's a guy basically right behind us up on the hill. He has a tent set up. He's been sitting in his car for like, I don't know, an hour and a half. <laughs> we did some walking around and we walked past his campsite and like that tent was just like whoop, 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 whoop. Supposedly the wind is going to calm down tonight. Hopefully it will. Our original plan was to come here, stay the night and do some hiking and show off the Badlands. I don't know if that's going to be possible. Maybe in the morning we can do it. But as of right now, you might be able to hear it howling out there. It's windy. <laughs> it's windy. So I guess the plan is just to kick back, relax for a little bit. Here in a little bit, we'll make dinner. It's coffee time, as you can see. 48 degrees outside. Inside of the vehicle, upper 70s. It's very comfortable. Later tonight, 20s. So we will see how that goes. But it's a beautiful spot here, and I'm happy that we got up farther into the campground area because the views are great not necessarily from the van but just a few steps out on a trail and you have a great view it really is a beautiful peaceful place up here it is
As you all can tell, it's getting late. It's dark out. It's still raging windy out there, though. <laughs> it is. There's been times where the van is rocking. It is pretty funny. It's pretty funny. Yeah. Originally, we had plans to, you know, get out here early. We were going to do a lot of filming, a lot of sharing, hiking, exploring. That did not work out. Nope, and that is because of the weather conditions. It is just too windy. The winds are supposed to die down, so there might be something we can do in the morning. But we also have to get up and hit the road again because this was just a stopping point to our final destination. Or not our final destination, but our next destination to where we are going to stay put for mm -hmm. a few days. The, the main focus of this trip, which is in Utah... And it's nice. Tomorrow, we have a short drive. It's about three hours. And I cannot wait. The backpacking trip that we're going to do is going to be so much fun. And it's one of those things where, like, it's a mystery. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have no idea how long it is. We have no idea if it's even possible what we've planned. <laughs> it's one of those things that we'll just have to simply see once we get there. And when it comes to, like, outdoor backpacking adventures, that really is my style. I, I really get amped up on the unknown that's that's what drives me in the outdoors so it's like being off trail you don't know what's right around that corner i'm looking forward to it i know this sounds mysterious like what on earth are they planning <laughs> <laughs> you will find out very soon it's only mysterious because it's not like hey we're going to go do this trail and we've done some pretty you know, infamous trails in the past. We've done some mm -hmm. pretty infamous backpacking trips. And with the more practice you get while being outdoors, then you feel more confident in your skills about, hey, I know how to go off trail. I know how to find new spots. And that's essentially what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We're coming back to explore places that we've been before. And we're going to make a backpacking trip. That's right. Over the last maybe two years or so, like, we've really gotten away from doing, like, established trails. I mean, we're off-trail 99% of the time. If you're familiar with the channel, you see us off-trail all over the place. That's really our style now. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. It's like, before COVID, the trails were, they were busy, but not like they are now. They're just so swamped. <laughs> and I'm the type of person, I cannot film a trip with other people around. I cannot talk to the camera while like people are, people are around us, I feel like such a douchebag. It's tough to do, and it's great to see everyone out and enjoying the outdoors and hiking the trails. But there's so many ways to do it, and if we want to share <laughs> adventures with you all and inspire you to get out, we want to show you that there's a lot of ways to do it. You know, you can essentially go to a place where you live and have an epic trip. You don't have to be like, oh, I need to fly to Colorado and do this trip. So there's plenty of ways to do it. There's plenty of places to explore. And we hear from people all the time that live out here in the West and they do the same thing. They're off trail. They mm -hmm. find really cool spots. Yeah. Let's see. Um, the Lost Creek Wilderness in Colorado. That's a very popular spot. It's like we did numerous years worth of adventures there some off trail and we began hearing from people who live around that area who have been going out there doing the exact same thing like we heard from one individual like was it last year we went to colorado i came across that teepee mm -hmm. in the woods somebody was building this teepee out in the forest in the middle of nowhere off trail i came across it it was years and years old but we had a viewer go and find it, and he was exploring the mountains. And I just think that's so cool. You know, it's all about having those skills to be able to do that sort of thing safely. And, I mean, once you do, like, the sky's the limit. Like, when you can go off trail, the, like, sense of empowerment and accomplishment that comes with it is so great. Doing a long trail, established trail, I mean, you, you will feel the same thing. But definitely off trail, on your own where you're not having to like, you know, the trail doesn't dictate what you do. It's something else. Yeah. If you like what you see, if you like what we're doing, you can get that same feeling. Mm -hmm. And there's numerous ways to do it. You can take your car and drive out to BLM land and set up camp. You know, we do it all. We like to show you all how to do it. And you can get that same feeling from any of those ways, whether you do an established trail you go to a campground, you mm -hmm. go to BLM land, you go off trail, 
you can still get that same feeling. Yep, that's it. <sighs> I guess I'm tired. How about you? I'm tired, and right now I'm cozy and warm. <laughs> we will see what happens as the night moves on. It's going to get colder and colder. So we're going to kind of settle in, cuddle in. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, we may stay pretty warm once we get to sleep. So Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We do have the butter heat butter heater we have the mr buddy heater ready to go i'm gonna leave that in <laughs> the butter heater butter heater <laughs> i don't even want to explain what that means <laughs> but we have it ready to go in case we need it i i'm assuming by morning we probably will it's gonna be chilly probably yeah, yeah. Uh, there is a freeze warning in place there's a high wind warning in place there's red uh what do they call it red flag Red morning. flag warning for the area that we're in. And that's like a no burn ban, basically. Right. And all of that popped up today as we were traveling. We got those notifications. So that's how it goes. Yeah, that's how it goes. If we wake up freezing, we'll bring you all back and let you know <laughs> if we have to turn on our heater buddy. So Our butter heater. Butter heater. <laughs> Don't send any emails. That's not a real thing. There's no butter heater. <laughs> Oi. <laughs> Bedtime. See you guys later. Good night, folks. Good night. Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me. It is still quite windy. It's also quite cold. Right now, 25 degrees. Talk about a gorgeous place to wake up. <laughs> Here's the thing, everyone. It's about 7.30 in the morning, and I'm the only person out here. Everybody else is still sleeping or doing whatever. I figured I would get up, come out here and explore with you all. I figured that coming out here, getting in the wind, that would be the best way to wake up. And I was right. <laughs> What we're looking at surrounding us here are some of the badlands here in New Mexico. A few years back, Susie and I, we came out here and we backpacked this off trail. It really was incredible.
was really hoping to say that my foot has healed some while traveling, but unfortunately that's not the case. Walking around on this is quite painful. All of the pain is like centralized on the heel. So like every single step, it like stretches that torn tendon and it just, I mean, it hurts, it really does. Because of that, I think I'm done hiking for now. I wanna rest up and save <laughs> as much of my energy and strength that I have for the backpacking trip that we're going to do. I'm still going to do it. Nothing's going to stop me. Like this thing could be like a bloody nub and I'd still go on that trip. But yeah, that sucks. The joys of getting older, I guess, right? Like when you're younger, stuff like this doesn't seem to slow you down. But you hit my age, the mid 40 area, yeah, you start feeling it. Wow, it's beautiful, folks. The thing about the desert, namely the Badlands right here in New Mexico, like there's an energy here. And I'm not talking like a religious sort of thing, potentially spiritual, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. I guess you could call it religious, I don't know. For myself, that's not the case. But there's definitely an energy, there's a, there's a force here, and it's amazing. Everywhere I look, right, I just wanna like go grab my backpack and head off the hill, off the mountain here, and just start hiking and exploring. <laughs> I will be honest with you, if Susan wasn't with me, that's exactly what I would do. <laughs> I would go find the worst campsite at this place, park the vehicle, and bolt. Then I'd come back in three or four days, something like that. Now with that being said though, don't get me wrong, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I am super, super glad that Susie's here. Susie's the best. She really is. Good morning, everyone. It's a little chilly here in New Mexico, but it's a beautiful morning. As for the sleep last night, it was fantastic. Luckily, we had plenty of blankets and we slept in leggings and fleece, jackets, and stayed very warm. No complaints at all. I woke up, opened the blinds, and the sun started peeking in, and instantly the van warmed up. It's really been nice. Today, folks, we head into Utah. We are going back to the Valley of the Gods. That is where we're going to spend a number of days. That's where the backpacking trip is going to be at. Oh yeah. Susie, what do you think about that coffee? The coffee is good. It has a little twist this morning. It's really good. It has cinnamon in it. And that is a unique experience right there. Yeah, it's like a cinnamon chaser with your coffee. <laughs> cinnamon chaser, baby. Cheers. Bow!
quiero Es mentira todo lo que te dijeron Sabes que mi amor por ti es verdadero Yo te soy fiel, nena, yo te soy sincero Juro que yo hago de todo pa' ti Como rábame todo de ti Y yo te doy todo de mí Hay mujeres de todo pa' mí Today is off to a great start We have left New Mexico and we are currently in Arizona We did a small stock up in Farmington, New Mexico. Two years ago when we were there, we were in Walmart and we were getting some water and we had like these five gallon jugs, right? And so I think we got like two of those to like replenish our stock. So we go up to the checkout aisle and I grab one of those things to pull it out of the shopping cart and like the nozzle gets caught on the cart itself. It rips that thing off and I sling water <laughs> all over that store. It was highly embarrassing. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Oops, my mistake. I did make up for it though by like when we left Walmart, there was a fire out in the parking lot in like some mulch. I was able to take that water and go put out that fire, so kind of made up for it. <laughs> Told a hero <laughs> in two minutes. Anyways, folks, we have one hour to go until we get to Valley of the Gods. I will say, since the last time that we were here, the roads seemed better and the Walmart seemed new somehow. I don't know if they remodeled or anything, but we do like the area. We were reminiscing about camping somewhere in Farmington about two years ago. We found some wildlife management land and we were camped on a hill. It was pretty cool. We took showers up there and everything. And it was cold, I do remember that. But um, yeah, the area is nice and everything's been going smooth and off to Utah.
As you all can see, the Valley of the Gods location is incredible. It is so beautiful out here. Stunning. Stunning is the word. As of right now, we're driving along here, exploring, checking out the campsites. There are hundreds of them, hundreds and hundreds. We're just looking for the right spot. By the way, if memory serves me correct, this road is roughly 17, 18 miles long, something like that. No idea how we got so lucky today but we are in valley of the gods and we have the campsite that we wanted we are nestled right in between two canyons and it's beautiful here i'm so stoked because we have amazing views pretty much all around the van and any direction that you look the view here is incredible so we are parked for the day and actually we're going to be parked here for a few days we are going to backpack into the canyons and see what's out there I'm excited for this adventure to begin. Wait until you see what's directly in front of us. It is incredible. This place is absolutely phenomenal. This is the launching point for our backpacking adventure, and that will be part two. I'm not sure what exactly is up there. Tomorrow we will find out together, but I have a feeling it's going to be epic. It feels great to finally be here. It's day five on the road, but we've made it. Part one is wrapping up. We are going to get ready and cook a good dinner and then pack our backpacks and call it a night. Dinner is ready and we made some really good cheeseburgers. Check these out, they look so good. Oh yeah, thank you Susie. You're welcome. Cheers everyone. Some cheeseburgers, some chips, incredible views. I'm sure you're wondering why we're inside of the van. The wind has begun picking back up again. I think this is a good time to wrap up this adventure. We want to thank you all very much for joining us for part one of this road trip. Part two is the backpacking trip. Part three, who knows where we're going after this. I don't know. We might have some fun before we head back to North Carolina. You'll have to see what happens in part three. So far, the first part of this has been fabulous. We've had a great time. No issues. Very smooth. No traffic. Life is good. Life is good. So folks, we will see you with the backpacking adventure. Oh yeah. Strength and honor. Bye for now. Bye. Let's eat. I'm going to dig into this. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Perfection. That is perfect. Cooked perfectly. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Yum. <laughs>
it looks like the canyon snakes. Hopefully, we'll be able to continue hiking it. It's not looking good. Oh no. I will try that way and see if it's possible. I don't think it is. I don't think there's enough of a lip up there. But I'll go find out for sure. Unfortunately, Susie, this is the end of the road. Can't make it? No, that's almost vertical right there. Yeah, it does look dangerous. It doesn't look like it's the best idea to even attempt. The plan now is to backtrack find a shady spot. We will probably rest some for the rest of the day while the sun is really hot and out. And then we will pick up hiking again later this afternoon. And the plan will be to try to find a way to go around the mountain. And we will be looking for a campsite at the same time. Haven't seen a soul today, heard nothing, no one. We're just out here in the middle of nowhere. The potency of the sun is definitely lessened. We're gonna go up there, look for a campsite, see what we can find. This is very steep. It likely doesn't show, but it is. Mm -hmm. 